Hello. Shall we pray? Dear Lord Jesus, wherever we are today, help us to learn something about the Father's love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As you can see, I'm sitting on the branch of a tree. <laughs> it's a tree in the man's garden, and we think she's called Macbeth. And we think she's the mother of all the sycamore trees that are in the area, <laughs> because she's over 300 years old. Um, when I was younger, I loved climbing trees. Um, it was always a bit of a challenge because I also suffered from vertigo. But I loved to be, that sensation of being up in a tree and being able to look down and see the world passing me by. There's people in the churchyard just now. I doubt they'd think to look up and see me here. Because that was the other thing I liked about being in a tree. It's rare, rare that people looked up and saw you. So you could be sort of hidden away a bit. And it was fun and it was exciting. Let me read to you a story. Um, it's from Luke's Gospel, chapter 19. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he could not because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see, to see, whoops, where am I? To see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, he has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said, look Lord, here and now I give half my possessions to the poor, to the poor and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house. For the son of man came to seek and to save what was lost. I suspect that when Zacchaeus woke up that morning, the last place he imagined he would ever find himself would be in a sycamore fig tree. Zacchaeus was probably amongst the richest of the men in, in Jericho, and he was probably one of the most hated men in Jericho as well, because he was a chief tax collector. He collected taxes for the Romans, but more than that, he, he gathered in all the taxes collected by the other tax collectors and he always took his cut, whether that cut had been earned legally or illegally. And so everybody hated him for it. And you know, truth be told, he probably hated himself for it as well, but he felt a bit stuck. He felt, you know, there was nothing he could do to get out of the situation he found himself in. But then one day he heard that Jesus was coming. And a bit like that blind beggar that I talked about a few weeks back, he had heard about Jesus. And while that beggar had been interested in what people said about Jesus' healing powers, I think Zacchaeus was more interested in what Jesus had to say about God. Because Jesus said things about God that no one had ever heard anyone say it before. When Jesus spoke about God, he spoke about a loving father, someone who was gracious and merciful, who welcomed people, whoever they were, and who offered forgiveness of sins and the, the chance to start again. So Zacchaeus decided he would try and see Jesus. But, and you probably know the story. He was a wee man. He couldn't see over the crowds. So he runs ahead and he climbs the sycamore fig tree. And from there, he's able to look down and see Jesus passing beneath. And also from there, he would probably have felt quite safe because no one would see him. And, and, and so he'd be safe from their mocking glances. And then, of course, the worst thing possible happens. Instead of passing by underneath, Jesus stops and looks up and says, Hello, Zacchaeus. And everybody else stops and looks up. And they're all laughing and pointing. Hey, there's the tax collector. Look at him. He's up in a tree. Would you believe? And they're all wanting to hear what Jesus is going to say because Jesus is bound to take the mickey. I mean, it's just one of those opportunities that you couldn't have planned. But Jesus doesn't mock him. Instead, Jesus says, Zacchaeus, can I come to your house today? My house? I'm a sinner. I'm a tax collector. You want to come to my house? By now, Zacchaeus doesn't care what the crowd thinks. He gets down out of that tree as fast as he can. 
and they all go to his house. It's like he knows this is his chance. This is his chance to make amends. This is his chance to have a new start. And he seizes it with both hands. And the story of Zacchaeus raises a question for all of us. You know, are we like Zacchaeus? Are we looking down at Jesus from a safe distance? You know, there's a verse in the Bible that goes something like this. It's in the book of Revelation. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice, I'll open the door. And opens the door, I will come in. And that's what Jesus was doing at the door of Zacchaeus' life that day. He was knocking at the door. He was asking to come in. And if that's you, are you going to open that door? See what a difference he makes? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we do thank you for the power of that story of Zacchaeus. We thank you that Zacchaeus' life was changed that day. And it wasn't just an idle gesture. He, he actually paid back four times all that he'd taken from those he'd cheated. He gave away half his money to the poor, all those ill-gotten gains. He was set free from that life of misery that he had trapped himself in. And if there's anyone listening today who, who shares that, that longing to be set free, please enter into their life today as they open the door for you and change them from within. We ask this in your name. Amen. Thank you. Now I've got to get down.